Despite the warm-up, plenty of anglers are hitting the ice. At this time of year, there's really no safe ice. I mean, it's pretty much a gamble right now with 50 degree, 50 degree days popping up. Petty Officer Ryan Chalaba says the U.S. Coast Guard's Toledo station has been involved in five rescues this winter, but typically this time of year is their busiest as anglers look to drop the line once more before the thaw. We did pretty good compared to some. Jerry Law and Chris Hajduk spent the day at Lake Erie near Oak Harbor. It was awesome. We uh, we got we got three, but we could have had more. You're looking at probably one of the best walleye holes in the world. Take advantage of it being close to home. The ice it was two to three foot thick out there, but it was pretty slushy on top some areas. But this this beast here gets to, got us through it pretty good, man. I, <laughs> it was it was fun. That beast is a four wheeler, a common sight and sound along the shoreline. Chris and Jerry say they check ice levels before heading out. Just one of the safety measures they take. They say they also have rope, ice picks, and life preservers. Would I be the first person out in the morning or something? No. I look at it as I try to find places that somebody else has maybe went already. I'm not going to go blaze a new country out there. <laughs> and we always try to go safe. And like we were talking, today's probably going to be the last day. A wise bet, the Coast Guard says, though realizing there will be those who test the limits. The best advice is just to use your head, um, also have a float plan, which is pretty much saying, you know, letting your family know or, or, or you know, pretty much writing it out where you're going to be, where's your destination, how long you're going to be there. Near Oak Harbor, Jim Nelson, NBC 24 News.